according to Swisher, their uh, local company that prides themselves on making a connection with the community that appeals to its adult consumers. That's why today they've donated $500,000 to this trail you see behind me. It's called the S-Line Trail. And eventually, when it's completed, it will create and connect routes to a number of schools, parks, and restaurants, to name a few. Back in 2008, Jacksonville took control of an abandoned length of CSX Railroad right-of-way and has been turning it into a 30-mile-long multi-use path called Emerald Trail. 4.8 miles of Emerald is called the S-Line because it's in the shape of the letter S. But 1.3 miles of the S-Line remain incomplete from 12th Street and Boulevard to East 21st Street. It needs to be maintained. I don't see any uh, garbage cans along it, and you have a uh, broken glass, debris from the trees when it falls. Jack's local, Herford Bean, rides along the S-Line daily for exercise. He's one of many people hoping that this $500,000 donation from Swisher to Groundwork Jacksonville will help complete the S-Line. Groundwork Jacksonville is the city's nonprofit that aims to better our landscaping. And Swisher is the local adult consumers company helping to make some of those visions a reality. CEO of Groundwork Jacksonville, Kay Eos, explains. Our goal is that long-term residents get to stay and prosper, to have each neighborhood develop an affordable housing and economic development plan for their neighborhood. This half a million dollar donation is the first privately funded portion of Emerald Trail. Representatives from Swisher say they hope this encourages more individuals and companies to donate so that they can better the lives of those living in the La Villa, Durkeeville, Springfield, as well as Phoenix neighborhoods. Overall, Emerald Trail should be completed by 2029. For local coverage you can count on in Phoenix, I'm Princess Johnny Steverson.